Hello everybody, my name is James Jackson. Welcome back to the channel. Um, obviously this isn't necessarily a noise controls room. You're probably here in vacuum. I do apologize. I'm in an open area because I wanted to sort of show off um, what is possible with just one light and not even a very powerful light, a very in a relatively inexpensive light, what you can pull off. Today I'm actually doing a light called the Colbar W100, which I'm actually becoming more and more fond of the more I use it. Um, there's a lot to talk about. It's, a, it's stated to be a 100 watt light uh, that is very lightweight, very portable, has very similar um, designs as the Molus X100 from Juin. Uh, but it's cheaper than the Molus X100, and there's quite a few features about this that I find it better than the Molus X100, but that's for another video uh, for later discussion. This, this is just simply a demonstration of what you can actually do with this light, with just one light. So sort of just a little bit of a setup. Right now, I have... Uh, got the curtains open so we could sort of get some motivation, um, daylight motivation hitting into the room. As you can see, this is a lot darker, but right now the Colbar W100 is just bouncing off, right off a insulator foam board that you can get for like 11 bucks from your Lowe's or Home Depot. Very inexpensive to create a bounce, and it's just coming back this way. And uh, given that window right there, and then there's sort of another window over here to help create the motivation from this side of the room. And right now, let's see where we at here. We are at 80% power. So we still have some, we still have more to go if I wanted to. Um, right now, I don't think to, but I can, if you want to see, this is what it will look like at 100% though. I feel like it doesn't necessarily fit the scene given the way everything is. Um, I feel this is, a, this feels more natural. This feels more what would be in kind to the scene. Apologies for the notification button. But again, this is just one $170 light. Um, this is, I, I basically just came in to do this video really quickly. Also, uh, I got a be behind the scenes camera so you can just see the setup right there. Um, and I am filming on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. We are shooting open gate. Uh, and I am using a new monitor that I just recently got that I will be talking about in the future. But... Uh, basically this is like something that you can get if you look definitely if you want to get more moody now if I had this again this is just sort of a setup which you could probably do for just one light um, if I had more options of what I could do uh, just give it on a little bit of resources I probably would put the coal bar in a lantern and shoot it above so that way I can have and I, I can sort of control a little bit more of the area so I can Maybe put some more light back here to just give it a little bit more of a, a lift while also um, giving myself, uh, while covering my um, bright side on that way. Um, but this is just sort of so you guys can see, and um, especially when you combine this with something like the Cinema Camera 6K, this looks um, really nice, really, this looks really good. And... If I was to add some more lights, I'd probably would just try to find a lamp and maybe just throw it in the background just to give it, just to maybe create a kicker. If I wanted to go a little bit more crazier, put a lamp, maybe put an Aperture B7C in there, just have it be there as a kicker. And then I would probably do something like the Juin uh, Molus X60 and just put that on a little stand behind me and just throw a little, just throw a little light to have a kicker and maybe give a little, uh, you know, various shades of the room. So, and that essentially 
would be it for what I would do for this space. Um, for the most part, unless there was other creative things. Now, if we're talking products and things like that. Now, obviously, there's definitely some shadows happening here. But again, this is, remember, we're looking at the scene. I'm sub trying to make it more mimic sunlight coming through a window, which would make sense given how much power would be coming through those through those windows. Uh, I want to have some more sort of ideas of lighting scenarios and maybe also doing some more smaller, smaller little things to do just to keep the one to keep the juices flowing for myself personally, but also sort of to just give you guys ideas of what you can do during potentially some downtime. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think this look, how it looks. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.